wanted to do some interior decoration for my apartment in Phuket. But I didn't want to, you know, go online, buy a digital print or, uh, you know, go to a, a local artist and have them create something. I wanted to do something that was from me and and that the objects that were on the painting actually meant something um, to me rather than just be a cool design. So I, to get some, uh, uh, you know, some, uh, some ideas, I just went across on the internet and started looking at, you know, what could make some good reference? And I just really like these hills, you know, that, that, that feature in these in these paintings. This has got some pretty interesting foreground in too. But this one in particular I liked. And um, I liked how the um, you know the background then came to the uh, to the horizon and then became foreground. I thought this was really nice, this one. So I took some of what you see here. Um, but the curves that you see here are a lot more complex than the ones I ended up using. I want to use something a little bit softer. And, um, but, you know, the, the style that I could go with was more panoramic because um, the, uh, the space that I was going in is quite long. You'll see later, I'll show you how it looks. Um, so I was also a little bit restricted as to the color I could use because um, the paints that were available to me to actually um, to, to get these to, to sort of you know achieve these colors I had to mix and um, and I didn't have um, you know cyan magenta yellow and black to work with it's like a mix any color in the world I've I had sort of um, colors that will not achieve all colors in the spectrum so I had to be a bit careful about you know what I was going to use in my design the objects that you see featured here are are things that I really like. So this was the one which is going to appear in the kitchen. I used Illustrator to, to do this um, background is kind of, I, I hand drew this just using a mouse actually and um, and then put the parts together so you can see the sort of parts in the background. It's not just one piece, it's actually uh, several drawn pieces that are actually overlaid to create the effect I wanted. And um, and this is the one which appears in the dining room. I just really like wine, <laughs> you know. Um, it just comes from the ground and, and these colors, is the, the earth, how the earth gives us these really simple pleasures in life, but um, they're things that I really enjoy. Like I love eating fish and I like looking at the structure of a fish. And I think, you know, fish are really cute. And I also like chickens, like where I live in Phuket, they, they start sort of croaking at around six o'clock in the morning. And, um, and they, they make, this sort of makes up this very simple life that the, that the planet just yields. These really simple things, but they're like, they just never go out of style. And in the kitchen, this is what I put. So, you know, I have my morning coffee. So I thought, okay, I'm going to use some coffee beans and I really like a lot of the chili that's used in the cooking and aniseed as well that features in Thai cooking. Um, the canvas I had painted white uh, and later I went back in and actually painted more white um, into these areas. I deliberately wanted to use white as a means of making these objects stand off from the background. So that was quite deliberate. You could, I suppose, have cut them out and just painted the black and made it more of a block. Um, the other thing that uh, I did as well is I, I wanted them to sort of look, um, you know, you can see that the the shapes are have, are a little bit angular um, and in the final product they are definitely a little bit more angular. And the idea being that it's kind of stamped on there, you know, rather than painted, it's got more of a, where you do a wood carving, you then take the, the negative of the wood carving, dip it into um, a paint and then stamp the wood carving on. I mean, if that, that's the way I would do it if I had the time. So not having time, I just want to try to create a little bit of that effect and um, sharper ridges and things like that did that. So that's, um, I, I then took these, these PDFs, I printed them out, and then you'll see later how I try to then sketch these out and get them onto a canvas. Here are some photos of the apartment so you get a sense of like, where this painting is actually going to go. And so I also got some of the inspiration and color reference from here. So you notice like a lot of it is just all kind of warm tones. Uh, 
But, you know, the black actually came up off this side, uh, very dark uh, walnut brown, which you, uh, which is, you know, throughout. There's a lot of sort of black rails and things like that. So the, the black was definitely part of uh, the skiing where that was sort of picked up. Um, there's also, uh, this has been painted subsequently, um, but I, I deliberately did go for um, a rustic look that I wanted in the apartment. So when I did the carpentry, it's got this sort of, semi-painted, semi-finished look to it. Um, this is where one of the paintings is actually going right in here. Um, and so you can see, it. you could probably um, pick up that this is where I sort of swatch some of the colors from, which actually appear in these paintings. So this is like one of the things that you can do if you take the time to create your own paintings and put them up, you really can um, customize them and make them work. Not only make them work from something that you know, comes from within you, but also uh, pick up on what's going on around the environment as well. Um, in the kitchen, um, it's this wall over here, which is where the second painting is going. Um, and um, anyway, this, this project was really successful, so successful that I think I'm going to uh, do some more paintings. I've got probably two rooms, and I could put some more in there. So I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of um, a lot of fun.